it's Kate and Sarah here from the Coffee Apple. Hello everyone, and we are playing Dr. Eureka. There we go, and it is a game of planning, and a bit of fine motor skill, and a bit of luck, I think. Yeah, we're yeah. going to mix the molecules All right. to the formula. So the idea is, is we are going to be changing these little molecules around to make the patterns that are shown on the cards, except that we cannot touch the little molecules with our hands. We can only do it by chipping from beaker to beaker. Beaker, and, that's yeah, the word. Beaker to beaker. And um, first person to complete the pattern correctly wins the card. First person to five cards wins. All right. Okay, ready. Wish me luck. Set. Item up. Get set. Go. Ah. Mm. And then I need you go in there, and then you go in there, and then you go in there. Ah, get out of there! Oh, come on! Ah. Yes. yes. My balls were not cooperative. <laughs> All right. So that is one. One to Kate. Kate, one. All right. And then you start over again. So you um, take yes. your balls out. Get my. And... Luckily, they're not gr um, glass. No, they are plastic. They, they are plastic. But they would have just broken. Okay. Oh, yeah, plastic. All right. So it goes purple, red, green to start purple. with. Red, green. green. Okay. Right. Ready? On a mats. Set. And go. Go. Oh, no suspense. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh, technically, Kate loses because her ball went on the floor. That's right. Um, but I'm that's okay. Something. We'll give her a. Um, all right, so I got one, two, three. Oh, well done. There we go. Okay. Well, it, it, it doesn't really right. count. Because <laughs> it didn't work out for you, Kate. So. Okay. Yeah. Purple, red, green. There we go. Okay. Well, one more go. Again. Tiebreaker. Here we go. Right. Okay. Ready? Set. Go. Oh. need to move this out of the way so this can happen yes thing in a hurry and i think the colors are quite good as far as uh differentiating they're very distinct the, very yeah distinct. yeah um for eight plus so that's grade three mm -hmm. definitely good with the dexterity the balance well it's it's more the how far you chip and how many yes. you're doing at one go so that's yeah that's 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 a skill and the competitive element it's like <gasps> I have to admit, I did have a go at doing it by myself before and it wasn't giving me incentive to keep on going. Yes. But one person, two people, three people. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, think, I think definitely. It's so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, it's going to be a tricky one to have a range of ages playing, I think. Oh, that's a good point. Yes. Is you going? Yeah. Although, Although this is one I could play with the kids. Yes, absolutely. Um, I may be too too competitive. <laughs> they are all varied. Ooh. And there's no There's no expert beginner. No, it's just you get what you get. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one thing oh, you can and yes. you can, for example, do that. And that would still count. You can invert your test tube. And then you get the colour that you want, and that counts. Yes. So, for example, so well, if you're doing that one, for example, you would probably get rid of a purple. And I wouldn't necessarily think to do that. No, in the rush. do that one, and then just go. And that's much. Quicker. And that's quicker it's than trying to. Yeah. So very good. So yeah, a bit, a bit of 
bit of out of the box thinking, just a little bit to encourage. I think that's um, quite a clever game. Yeah. All right. And on that, we shall love and leave you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Helen will be so happy because it's right. On <laughs> Hang on, screen. I can't find the off button. <laughs> <laughs>